Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Precious Metal Show 2016 here in Munich, the Edelmetallmesse second day, and we have great Panther Silver now here in our studio, and uh, Bob Archer, the CEO, wants to give us an update about the company. Bob? Hi. You can. Good to be back. <laughs> great to have you here. Um, great Panther Silver, you have been last year, I think, also here with an interview, so we know the company, mm -hmm. of course, already. Um, what happened 2016? What were the major developments in your company? Uh, well, aside from uh, silver prices going up, uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> that helped, it certainly <laughs> helped a lot, yeah, most definitely. Um, no, I mean, coming through the downturn, uh, our operations team did an excellent job of uh, really getting our costs down, uh, such that uh, even when silver got down to $14, we were still actually uh, able to make a profit at that level. Mm -hmm. So maintaining those low costs uh, with the metal prices coming back up again, uh, it's made a you know a huge difference to to our profitability, obviously, and uh, so we've you know we've continued to maintain those low costs, and and with the the, the foreign exchange rate has worked in our favor as well because mm -hmm. most of our costs are in pesos, and yeah. uh, you know but we our revenues in U.S. dollars, so with a stronger yeah. dollar, weaker peso, uh, you know that uh, that helps a lot as well. So yeah. um, you know that on the financial side has been a really really good year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, production wise, we we pretty much uh, just just held. Uh, steady for this year. We had a, uh, How many ounces have you produced um, so far? We're on track to produce about 4 million ounces uh, this year, year, silver equivalent, yeah. Okay. Uh, which is uh, about what we did last year as well. Uh, but we had a, about a 30% increase year over year from 2014 to 2015 Good. when we brought our new mine in, uh, into production. And uh, so that's, uh, you know, as that's grown, um, you know, that, that gave us a big boost uh, at mm -hmm. that time. But that also uh, filled the plant to capacity at Guanajuato. So it's, so it's uh, without, without an expansion, yeah. you know, it's, it's difficult to uh, you know to keep growing. Uh, yeah. Certainly not at that rate. Yeah. Uh, so that's really one of the things we're focused on right now is is uh, trying to uh, build up the resource base within that area because we have a number of projects that are within trucking distance mm -hmm. uh, to the Guanajuato plant. So if we can define uh, a big enough resource within the area, then we can justify a plant expansion mm -hmm. and. And uh, and then you know uh, we yeah. can go from there and boost production once again. So. Okay, great. So when you do, let's assume you do the four million ounces this year. Mm -hmm. Where do you have the all-in costs roughly? I know it's a forward-looking sp statement; it's an estimate, but yeah, give yeah. us an indication. Where do you think it might go? Well, our guidance for uh, for sustaining costs for the year on a consolidated basis for for all the mines uh, is uh, twelve to fourteen dollars. But uh, right now we're um, we're under the twelve, uh, so uh, you know we'll see where uh, where we land with the fourth quarter. But um, you know certainly we'll we'll be on the low side, and we're mm -hmm. hoping that we should beat that uh, beat okay. that twelve dollar number. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what mine life do you have so far as an average? Uh, you know that's always a difficult question to answer uh, because the you know at the Guanajuato mine it's been going for more than four hundred years, and uh, so the you know the mine life there, and if you include the San Ignacio mine just outside. Side. Uh, it's probably in the, the five-year range, uh, four to five years, something like okay. that. Um, but as I say, you know, we're we're drilling off new resources you and, and you know push that <laughs> out. And uh, at our Topia mine, I guess we're uh, about seven or eight years uh, mm -hmm. defined right there. But we haven't even done any drilling there for about three years. Yeah. So as we get going with the drilling again, then uh, you know we'll we'll expand the mine life there as mm -hmm. well. Fantastic. So mm -hmm. that sounds to me like you are doing a, a lot of organic growth. Yes. Of course. Yeah. That's right. Um, do you have any plans? ideas to do something different than organic growth? Yes, absolutely. Maybe some M&A? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I mean, we, we did a financing this uh, this yeah. summer, actually. Uh, we raised uh, uh, 29.9 million US in a bot deal. Uh, so we, uh, as of the end of September, we've got um, uh, about $53 million uh, in the bank, uh, cash, and wow. uh, over 68 uh, working capital and no debt. Uh, so we have a very, very strong balance sheet and we it, we mostly did that financing for an acquisition just to give us a, a bigger war chest, so to speak, uh, and give us a lot more confidence in, in being able to go out and, and you know, not just to pay for the acquisition itself, yeah. but, but to actually, you know, uh, put it in production or, you know, whatever's required, yeah. uh, because that's that's the focus for for an acquisition is something Perfect. that's either in production now or yeah. very close to it. So if it requires a bit of investment uh, to, you know, 
yeah, uh, get it going again then. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe any plans? Let's assume uh, I just had Ronald Schöffel here in the interview and he said $42 silver in the next two, three years. I mean, that would be a major boost, of course, yes, of for course. all silver yeah, companies. Yes, definitely, uh, let's yeah. assume silver goes maybe not to 42 but uh -huh. let's say 25 right. uh, Could you imagine also to start to pay somewhere dividends for the shareholders to reward them a bit? Um, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, dividends is something that uh, is difficult for for a smaller company because you know realistically, um, uh, you can often uh, get more shareholder value, or provide more shareholder value uh, by investing that that money that you would pay mm -hmm. out in, in dividends. Uh, you know, either through an acquisition or, or something both. like that. So, or you could do both. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just the first time really that we've had uh, enough cash yeah. to even consider paying a dividend. To be perfectly honest, yeah. uh, so. You know, previously it wasn't something that that we had really thought about very much. Yeah. You know, but uh, I suppose now we could uh, we can okay. think about that. Yeah. Super. Well, yeah. All the best for okay. that. Thanks and very uh, much. Let the drills turning. Let the truth machines uh, mm. help you to <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah extend the mind life significantly. Uh, all the yeah. best, and I'm Great. pretty sure we see us latest uh, PDIC, right? <laughs> yes, most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Super. Yeah. yeah. Bob, thank That's you great. very much. Thanks so much. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was Bob Archer, the CEO of Great Panda Silver, and you heard it. The company is yeah it's in very good shape. Fifty. $3 million in the bank, the drills are turning, they want to yeah, increase the mine life of course, they want to do new resources and uh, the mine is working profitably, the cost of guidance was 12 to 14 dollars, now they are for this year by now at 12 dollars, which is also very good and yeah, we look forward, we will report about that, check out the company, thanks for watching us, bye bye from Munich.